And now I would like to ask you, what exactly is the uh, wisdom behind uh, Zakat al-Fitra? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 1605, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that it is obligatory on every Muslim, it is further than every Muslim to give Zakat al-Fitr, that is, Sadqa, charity for the breaking of the fast, for the purification of the breaking of the fast from empty and obscene talks and for feeding the poor. And Zakat al-Fitr should be given before the Salah of Eid al-Fitr. If it is given before Eid al-Fitr Salah, it is Zakat al-Fitr. If it is given after the Salah of Eid al-Fitr, then it is normal Sadqa. Based on the hadith we come to know, the main reason, the main wisdom for the giving of Zakat al-Fitr is so that the very poor Muslims, they have food to eat on the main day of the year that is the festival. The Eid al-Fitr is the main festival for the Muslims throughout the year. And because of that, every Muslim at Chish should have sufficient food to eat. So mainly for the very poor people, the wisdom is that they enjoy that day and they don't have to bother about eating, etc. It should be given by the rich people. Number two, it is given for the purification of our fast. The mistake that we do, the empty talks, the obscene talks, the false talks, it purifies and cleanses the mistakes that done in the fast. Thirdly, it is to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us the ability and made us fast the complete month of Ramadan. And lastly, it acts as a purification for the minor sins that we might have committed while fasting in the month of Ramadan because minor sins, they decrease our reward. So when we give zakat al-fitr, it tenses the minor sins so that it prevents taking away the reward that we have earned in the month of Ramadan. Obviously, zakat al-fitr is uh, another example of how wonderfully balanced Islam is, alhamdulillah.